So for anyone who wants to go into a little more depth understanding the structure of this piece, this piece is in G natural minor. And the G natural minor scale can be played with a, like a C major scale fingering in the right hand, one, two, three, and you want to pivot on your finger so that your thumb just is right there. One, two, three, four, five. And you notice that seventh scale degree is a lowered. So you could practice that if you wanted to. One octave as quarter notes and then two octaves as eighth notes. Another thing you might want to know is the chords. One is going to be a minor chord, two is a minor chord, three is a major chord, because this is a natural minor scale, that's how it is. Four is a major chord, but five is a minor chord, six is diminished, I guess, and seven is major and one is minor. So those are the chords. One is minor, two is minor, three is major, four is major, five is minor, six is diminished, seven is major, and one is minor. That's in natural minor. Now if you wanted to play the scale with your left hand, you'd do again the C scale fingering. Five, four, three, two, one, three, two, one. And why would you want to learn the scale? Well, as you advance in music at the piano, Knowing the scale allows you to know in advance what notes the composer is going to use to write the piece. And knowing the scale degrees helps you to understand the musical tension and relaxation in the piece. And the other thing you can do is you could have someone play a left hand pattern like the one in the piece and you could improvise your own melody which will help you sort of get inside the music. So I could make up my own tune here. And that way you become more familiar with the notes and it becomes easier to understand in some insightful, difficult to describe way with words of what the composer was trying to do. So I would encourage you to learn the scale and learn some of the chords and then make up some of your own music using those notes and those chords. Have fun. <laughs>